In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use artificial intelligence to help you write blog posts, help you rank, and help you get more traffic. Hey, my name is Jonathan, and I'm an SEO. And a lot of people don't know this, but it's super competitive now with all these media companies pushing out loads of content. But the best way is to fight fire with fire and start using AI and other tools to help you with your content process. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how I'm using artificial intelligence like Jasper AI and Phrase.io to help me rank my blogs and get more traffic in the process. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing is you wanna go on Ahrefs and obviously find and pick your keywords. I'm doing a lot of affiliate base, think top, think best list post i'm targeting for uh, sales funnels and local businesses i've been using phrase.io to push out a lot of content so what phrase.io is doing right now it's scraping the top 20 listings for these keywords right so we got a hubspot so these are all high ranking uh, domains over here Let's check that out and then so we can actually curate a outline from these other sites so we can go through here and we can actually ex start excluding uh, some of these because they're not relevant all right so we started we excluded these so we can actually use a content brief here or a template what I love about phrase is we can actually start pulling you know the h2s h3s that we want or we can use a AI brief and then for the research. Uh, so the outlines are over here and then it actually has the AI writer. It's actually, I think it's like 35 extra dollars a month. And then it's got a bunch of different templates as well. And then you can optimize for the research, long tail, topic, top topic, clusters, titles, headers, a blacklist. So we're gonna do a quick outline here. All right, if we use phrases, uh, content brief templates, they've got a bunch of different AI contents here as well. So we need to figure out what we are trying to include and exclude. I think these are great briefs, especially if you're outsourcing a lot of content and give somebody a great idea on what they should be writing about and how to do this, right? So what I like to do is I like to get at least a 95% on Grammarly as well as a 75 score on the optimize. And the whole goal of this is to explain uh, what sales funnels are and how local businesses can uh, start making sales funnels or landing pages and boost their conversion rates. And then this blog post is gonna lead someone to a free clonable uh, landing page or sales funnels. And then I will basically get affiliate revenue from that as well as an email and I can retarget these people through email automation. So while Phrase is doing that, we need to come up with a quick content brief and then we can use Phrase and Jasper AI to start pushing out this blog content. So we're gonna take this uh, target curry and we're gonna go over to Jasper while this is going. And then we're gonna do the blog post workload and we're gonna describe the content that we want. The better the input that you put into Jasper, the better it'll go. So Jasper is going to push out a bunch of different titles for us that we can use for our blog post. Why, lo why local businesses should start using landing pages and sales funnels. So my goal is to have 70% affiliate and offers information for my blog. And then the other 30% is going to be like how to's and information that's helping people. Right. But the whole goal is to lead someone down a series of information that will help them as well. Trying to target uh, local businesses to help them sell uh, my services as well. It's going to be a great informational piece of content that I can use to show off my expertise as well. So now we've got our title. Now we want Jasper to write our intro paragraph. I think it's crazy how much Jasper can emulate human writing. Let's take this first example. If you're a local business, you know that it can be tough to compete with the big guys. They have more money to spend on advertising and they can offer lower prices because they because of their large scale. So how can you compete? One way to start using landing pages and sales funnels in your business in this article will discuss why local businesses should start using these tools, and provide some tips on how to get started. I love that. So now we're going to do this and then we're going to grab our headers from phrase. And then so what I've noticed is phrase is a lot more uh, truthful 
right? And it's got more information that it can plug in. But Jasper does an amazing job on, on filling in the content gaps. And it's a lot quicker as well. Uh, Jasper also is awesome for coming up with uh, headlines uh, as well as engaging questions to answer. So let's jump back over to phrase. All right, so now we're going to compose a, a quick brief. So let's do this one for our H1. So what I like to do is I like to grab as many headlines as possible and then I like to narrow it down and then put them in order. All right, so now we have a structured piece of content here, okay? Now we can actually use the AI draft and then we can actually copy all of this. A quick trick, if we paste this over here, we can actually copy all of this and then we can have phrase write us a quick outline really quick right so we go to outline then we go to ai writer and then we can just throw this in here and it will either rewrite your competitor's content summarize it or write new ai content and then that will actually push out content for you as well but i'm going to jump over here to jasper and then we're going to throw this in there and then, so we're going to make all of these h2s i'm going to space these out a little bit and then after this is done we are going to go back and optimize it with phrase. Why local businesses start using landing pages and sales funnels in their business. So if you put the asterisk, Jasper can't read above that. So we're using the boss mode, we're doing control enter, and then uh, Jasper will spit out some content for us. Sales funnels are good ways for business to increase the revenue and customer satisfaction. We can use the power mode to grab persuasive bulletin points. So we're going to copy this over here. Beautiful. All right, so let's see if phrase knocked out some of these. Look, boom. So it's automatically creating more content for you right now. And then obviously you go back and then you edit it down. So right now it's rewriting the content from our competitors. And so it's got, uh, I would say probably 10 headlines so far. Oh, so nine sections so far out of 23. It's got 1500 words already. So you can use this and you can edit it. I like doing both to be honest with you. I think the quality for the Jasper content compared to phrases like the wording is a lot better so you always want to think about the person's needs everybody wants to feel understood so you want to make it about them so it's repeating a lot so by outlining each stage of the funnel you can ensure your customers are moving through steps in a logical order right, we're going to take that out we're going to have a call to action down below or we're actually going to give them a video of us building a sales funnel and giving it to them. And then, so Jasper's just gonna start answering these questions. What I suggest is going through the content description and then entering Jasper has context, but I think it's it's gone that Jasper is even learning or it's understanding a lot more. It's no longer a linear process. So these are giving out great uh, examples. And then it's explaining the different uh, stages of the sales funnel. And then it's got the call to action. Boom. Uh, so what I like to do, I like to do H2s as questions and then the H3s as answers. All right, so I'm gonna look back over at phrase. So I wrote 3000 words for us about why local businesses should use sales funnels. I think it's crazy what phrase can do. I think this is a great first draft. So these are the, this is the best sales funnels. I've got a, a blog post actually about going over uh, the top sales funnels for local businesses already. So I can link to that. Phrase just wrote a 3000 word draft for us really quickly, right? So if you're on WordPress, you can actually use uh, a plugin like Link Whisper to help you with your internal linking. I'm using, currently I'm using Webflow. 
And I'm using Ahrefs to find my internal links. So let's jump back over to phrase. I've got a bunch of different tabs open. And you can actually create more than one document, right? So uh, 15 appalling benefits of having a sales funnel for local businesses. We rewrote that title already. And then we, so we could play off this as well, right? So we've already got a bunch of different information and then we can just go through this and uh, start editing it down. So then we're asking Jarvis, uh, best content strategy for the awareness stage. It's all about getting noticed by your target audience to do this by creating education, uh, content that edu educates them and about the product service benefits, the way the blog post improves. Yeah, entertain. So we're gonna add a little bit she also create social media ads, ideal. Um, and then obviously you want to go back, you're gonna edit the crap out of these and make them your brand voice, realistically. To get people into the consideration stage, take action, you need to provide more information about your product or service. You can go through blog posts, ebooks, webinars, or even free trials. The key to make sure you provide value and not just selling. That's pretty good. I mean, so once you have their attention, you need to keep it. Uh, can you just keep playing value? So basically what we're doing right now, we're just going down the list, make it relevant. And then we're going to push it over to phrase and then we are going to optimize it. You can do the same thing with surfer. It's going to tell us all of the keywords as well as the headings that we should be using. Right now we're just bolding these because these are steps and people are going to, it's going to catch their eye. If you can use a drip campaign, all the points you'll be able to. So the social proof and testimonials, it's gonna help you boost your perceived value as well as the perceived outcome that it'll actually happen. Uh, it's a quick tip. And then, so I want to bold this to remind myself that I need to enter my information here. So that's a good thing to think. You gotta continuously nurture your leads even after they buy. Cause there's only three ways to grow a business, uh, which is to acquire more customers, increase the frequency of them buying, as well as ascend and retain. Uh, so we need to continuously remarket to them so they can spend more money and we can help them more often. There are a few market loss. So the goal of a blog is to answer questions and help someone find the right information that they're looking for. Yeah, so what I like to do after every sale is to help me boost my, to help me boost their perceived value, I like to send a you know handwritten card or something that will help me validate and retain that sale, right? So we want to make the person believe or make the person, you know, have conviction that they made the right choices. People hate change and they hate making decisions. So we need to validate their decision. So always do something that will help them boost their perceived value of your product or your service actually working. And a great way to do that is handwritten cards or a phone call or whatever it is. So we're gonna ask Jasper and then we are going to plug into the best sales funnel software. A click funnel, I'm gonna do uh, probably GHL click funnels. Active campaign. Uh, there's realistically any uh, sales funnel builder. If you're doing local businesses, you're probably not doing you know more than two or three pages. So now we are going to copy this and we are going to put it into phrase. We got 2,600 words, which isn't bad. Hey, I screwed up. So I realized when I was editing this video that the phrase screenshot of me optimizing the blog post did not work at all. So it's basically just a 20 minute video of a blank screen and me talking. So I'm gonna make a phrase blog post of me just optimizing blog posts. I'm super sorry about that. Make a video, but do me a huge favor. If you got any comments, concerns, leave them down below and I will make content out of it or I will address them. Every comment I reach out and give some words of encouragement. Uh, but if you got any questions, do you need favor leave them down in the comments below i've got a handful of links in the description for recipes other videos that will answer almost any question you have about jasper or ai copywriting i'm gonna leave those down in the description below and i'll see you in the next video